If you're using Marvelous Designer in conjunction with Blender 3D, you'll probably want to think about your mesh structure. So in Marvelous Designer, the default mesh is triangulated. So it does this to aid the process of simulation. So the entire mesh is constructed from triangles. In Blender, that can be tricky to work with. So what we can do in Marvelous is we can convert all these triangles into quadratic faces. So that's faces with four sides. So we've got our triangles, that's the defaults, and then what we want really, or ideally, are quads, quadratic faces. So it's one, two, three, four, versus one, two, three. So to do this in Marvelous, we can use two options. There are more, but these are the two main ones. So we can select our mesh and convert it using remeshing. That will convert it into a grid of quadratic faces. We've also got an option to quadrangulate. And this does the same thing, but it does it in a slightly different way. So what we'll do here is select each of the fabric sections, right click, and from the menu, remeshing. We'll use this one first because it's the one that's most commonly used. And we can see that this has converted the entire item or article of clothing into a grid, a very formalized grid of quadratic faces. So if we undo this and compare it to quadrangulate, so same again, we've selected all the elements of the clothing item. Right click, quadrangulate. Right click, quadrangulate. And we can see that this has done a similar thing. It's created a series of quads, but the structure loosely follows the structure of the mesh in terms of how it's been simulated. So if you're going to use one or the other, this quadrangulate is the better option of the two because the meshes match up. So where you have your patterns, your pattern segments, where they are joined to other segments, we get uniform edges and lines and alignments. They may look a little bit out of alignment at the moment, but if we zoom in, what we can look for is a stitch thread, which is a bit tricky to see, but there's a stitch between vertices, corresponding vertices across a seam. So we've got our seams. These are our seams. And we've got a vertex on this side, a vertex on this side, and we have a stitch between the two vertices. Quadrangulate maintains the general structure of the mesh. And so long as the stitch is present, the gap will be closed on export. Whereas, if we undo this, if we use remeshing, what remeshing does is basically creates a bit of a mess that has to be cleaned up in Blender because it adds a lot of additional geometry to the structure of our mesh to compensate or to accommodate the curvature of a seam. And it does this because it's using a very formalized grid. And the grid can't bend around corners and it can't adjust itself. So what it has to do is intersect and add additional geometry. And naturally, this means that it's creating a lot of additional 
stitching between the seams that has to be cleaned up. And in Blender, this is why we'd want to try and avoid remeshing wherever possible. Because we can see, particularly at the seams and around curves, there's a lot of additional geometry that now has to be cleaned up. And if we are relying on the UV maps that are generated within Marvelous, it also then means we have a lot of UV map cleanup to do because we have to remove these in order for this mesh to work correctly in IMVU. So we can see all these additional vertices that need to be tidied up. That's remeshing, whereas you didn't quadrangulate, we can see that we have a much cleaner mesh object particularly around the seams and curves. So wherever possible, try and use Quadrangulate if that option is available. It'll make the job of weight painting and prepping this for IMVU in Blender, particularly using the toolkit, much easier to do. So think about the structure of your meshes in Marvelous Designer. Either stick with the default which is triangulated, or convert them using quadrangulate.